Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd, going to review this new Ninth Wonder LP, The Wonder Years. Ninth Wonder is a huge hip hop producer. Must be known. If you're a hip hop fan, you must have heard of this guy. And if you haven't, you must have heard his production, at least, somewhere. The dudes worked with some of the biggest and some of the smallest, too. And what I like is he consistently kind of stays in tune with both sides of the aisle. He's worked with giants like Jay-Z, Destiny's Ch Ch Child, Erica Badu, and he's nowhere near fading in relevancy because he's working with current people too, like Drake and Chris Brown. The dudes come out with great collaborative albums too, with MERS, and one you definitely have to check out with Gene Grey. Genius. That and his early work in the group Little Brother make him an underground hip-hop legend as well. Now, his beats are heavily, heavily dependent on soul. They have a very warm sound. And the guy has come out with solo albums before, but I was hoping that the Wonder Years would maybe be something a little different. At first, uh, considering the first track, which is kind of a retrospective of, of Ninth, One, Ninth, One, Ninth Wonder's career, and the title of this album, and, and kind of the, the old, worn look of the, of the cover, I was hoping this would be kind of a, a retrospective, you know, of, of what brought Ninth to where he is today. And in a way, it kind of is, because this album is, is littered with pretty much the MCs that he's met along the way in his producer journey. Of course, Murs and Fonte, a lot of MCs he's, he's close with are on this album, but he's got members of Wu-Tang on here and tons of up-and-comers, which I like a lot. Fashawn, Kendrick Lamar is on here as well. Mac Miller is on here, an MC who he worked on a mixtape with recently too, Tom Hardy. Every track has a different feature. Every track has a different flavor. And it all kind of adds up to nothing more than a light, casual, come whenever time you want to party. There are some party snacks, some good conversation, a few drinks, maybe you'll meet a couple people you think are cool. But it's not really one of these crazy, all-out, unforgettable parties that, that everybody's going to be talking about tomorrow and there will be some incriminating photos uploaded onto Facebook. And because of that, this has a very smooth ambience to it, but also nobody on this thing is really bringing the heat. There's little to no aggression on this thing. The few MCs that do kind of come hard stick out like a sore thumb. But, you know, is, is that surprising? It's not like Ninth Wonders beats are, are all that conducive of a cipher or something like that. And a good chunk of the songs on this thing are love songs. I mean, overall, I like the beats on this thing. They're pretty good, but it's just that the, the, the guest MCs, either they're not that great and they're just underwhelming me, or they're MCs that I really, really respect, but they're definitely not bringing some of the best material I've ever heard them bring. I did like Raekwon on here. Murs was pretty good. Fonte was great. But for the most part, the MCs that stuck out to me the most on this mixtape were the ones that were younger, the ones that had kind of something to prove. Out of all the love songs on this thing, I think the only one I liked was actually Mac Miller's because his was not only cute, but kind of immature and had a funny twist ending and was really kind of self-aware saying, yeah, love songs are corny, but everybody falls in love. There have been other LPs where producers have sort of had the power to kind of cherry pick their favorite MCs, produce a bunch of different tracks, and then sort of feature them on whatever songs they like. Mad Lib's done it. Jake One has done it. But the thing is, those two LPs to me aren't all that fantastic for the same reasons that this one doesn't feel all that fantastic. As much as I may like a good handful of the tracks on here, there are so many that just that just lose me. And I think it's going to feel that way to a lot of people, but this should still be checked out if you're a fan of hip-hop, because the thing is, you may not like the MCs that I liked from this album, you know? I'm feeling a strong four to a light five on this. Really lost me on the whole, but still, there are those tracks on here that I enjoyed a lot, those features that I thought were pretty decent. But what do you think of this thing? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why? And what do you think I should 
review next. Anthony Fantano, Ninth Wonder, Forever.